corner on the right here. Once you get it up here, I want to see where it's going to be. that now? Okay, now I'm going to turn it. I want to see if it goes further than the other way. Yeah. It goes further that way? Yeah. Okay, so I want to try to get that squared up somehow here. Look on that a little bit. I want to square it up here. need your measuring tape too probably. It is in the house.
here, just right here, drag it across so we don't rip that tape. That tape. How far? Good. Slide her down. How far? All the way. All the way down to the deck. Okay, bring it back my way a little. Good. Now what I want to do is I want to look. I want to see how close we are. That's it. Okay. I want to get a level on this now. Your end, will it go down anymore if I hold this? Actually, you know what? How's that? Right like that? That's good. That's good? Yeah. I gotta go 16 inch center. Mine's right here. Oh. That is still level. Yep. Oh, no, nope, we're gonna keep it. Where's that level? You know what? You can't do it anyways. It's too long. I'm just going to put one screw in here for now. Right. It's not going nowhere like that. Well, we got that all sorted out, folks. We have uh, the corner done, as you've seen, and we put one piece of strapping on. But now we have to sharpen the bandsaw mill blade and mill some more. I do have a log. I do have a timber over there on the mill already. I just have to take that and cut that up. I think you can see it way over there, sitting right on the mill. A friend of mine borrowed my log trailer to go get some firewood. He went back that way with it. So when he gets back, and maybe tomorrow we'll hook on it and we will go get some more uh, logs to uh, mill for strapping. Now I measure that out, so we're strapping it two feet, two foot on centers all the way up. And we're nailing it 16 inch centers and they're going right into the, to the studs, those nails. And the reason I know that is because all my studs, I made them sit, I made my trusses sit right on top of the studs. So I start from this end, that's 16 inches and it works the way to the left. That's why I put the house together. I'll look at my old videos to figure that out. So everything is laid out from this end to the left. 
So that's one piece of strapping on. We removed that one piece of deck board, which I knew would happen. So I made sure we could get that out okay. Now I'll just trim that deck board a little narrower. That one there just has to be slid out once I take the screws out of it. I made sure I was able to do that. Um, anyways, we're probably gonna sharpen that sawmill blade. And if we still have time, we're gonna come out and mill some more and we're gonna get this. But we got Heather all set up here for next time we go to cut. We're all good. I put the little saw on top of that little uh, stand I had there. Sawhorse, I guess you'd call it. Whatever, workmate, whatever, job mate, pro, whatever. I don't know what they're called there. But anyways, yeah, it's, it, it's an ultra, I don't know, ultra something. <laughs> Doesn't seem too ultra out here. It's kind of tippy and wiggly, but it'll work, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So, uh, house is all closed in now. It's all wrapped up perfectly. Isn't that nice? It is very nice. House is all wrapped. We've got one piece of strapping. So I say we clean a few things up here and we go downstairs. We clean that blade and maybe we can mill some boards today or this evening and put some on because it's already starting to get late, folks. The sun is already starting to, well, I don't know what time it is, but it's, it's probably not that late. I mean, the sun is up right up there and it usually sets over about there. So we probably have, what, two, three hours left? Probably. I think we could probably do it, don't you? Yep. Let's give her. We'll see you in a little bit if we get her done, folks. <laughs> 